Hey, what's up, guys? It's Eric and Chris here uh, again. We're back on another one of our crazy adventures, guys. We came back. You saw the video where we actually came out here and walked through, kind of showed you this place, showed you some shots of it during the daytime. But guys, man, this place is creepy. We're in the middle of the Ozark St. Francis National Forest. This place is already creepy enough. There's Bigfoot sightings out here. There's haunted stories about this place. This place is wild. It's off the hooks. We just got here, and just as soon as we turned the K2 meter on, we already started getting some hits, guys. So we're going to go check this place out. Chris has never seen it before. He's tripping out going, it's in the woods. <laughs> so, guys, we're actually going to check it out this time, and we're going to have a lot of fun with this. Uh, we're going to have to watch our six, though. You know, we are in the backwoods of Arkansas. There's black bears, there's coyotes, foxes. There's little name. buggies flying around. Huh? <laughs> there's little bugs flying around that keep hitting the, <laughs> the screen. They're everywhere. <laughs> but anyway, guys, we're going to check it out. Chris, you ready to check this place out? Oh, yeah. What's happening? Guys, this is creepy. Okay. Let's get to it. Let's go check it out. Let's go see if we can find something. Maybe we can communicate with something. Let's go check it out, guys. bugs everywhere all right guys so chris is going to be the first one to make the trek up the hill all righty we are back at the abandoned forgotten cemetery up on crowley's ridge just this cemetery so years ago when i, I was told about this place and i was told that there was actually there was no sign here that the National Forest I actually just put this sign in about a year or so ago, but before that they were just actually some people were out here actually hunting uh, actually hunting actually was hunting there it goes again. If anybody's around us, can you come up and touch Andrea's hand and make this box? Make this box light up. Careful. This felt like. <laughs> touch the box. Or touch Andrea's hand and that box will light up and let us know that you're here. Guys, we haven't even made it in to the cemetery yet. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get the light out of Andrea's face because the bugs are swarming her. Um, oh. Up I look like I just saw a light over there. Alright. So, the story was is that they told me that they were actually here. There were no signs. They actually stopped on the side of the road because they were looking and hunting for musky dines. And they stumbled across this cemetery in the middle of the woods by accident. So... <laughs> Be sure to watch for snakes, Chris. Yeah. yeah, it's not that big at all. It's just a squish, very small squish. So, look, you got, you got this little plot, which I, at first, this is, I thought this was all it was, right? And the guy that actually told me about it said, no, nah, dude, it goes on. Really? Yeah. So, so I decided I figured I would walk, and as I started walking, I noticed right over to your, oh, yeah. straight across from you right there, there's another headstone. And then I walked a little bit further over this way, and 
I noticed more right over here. I'm, I'm trying to find the one that really kind of, I don't know, drew me to it, I guess you could say. But I noticed as I was walking through, I noticed this one right here. Leaning up against the tree. There's one over there also that is was found. Yeah. Can you make that out? Maria. <clears throat> October. I know. March. Dad. Dad. Fifty two. Eighteen. Oh yeah, 1852. 1852. Wow. Yep. Now this is the one that really drew me into it, was this one right here. You see? So, you can see, this one was born in, on October the 20th, 1854. And died on August the 20th, 1859. Five years old. Shit. And it looks like it was a, like a large family plot, maybe. But I looked, and there's no other markers in the ground. Like, no Unless other family. Unless they've been picked up. Oh, okay. Taken away. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Yeah. 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 What's the name of this, say, Chris? Martha Martha M, daughter of C.S. and S.J. Miller. There. Oh, here we go. Right up here, Chris. This is it. This is the one I found. I told you it looked like, see where the tree, the roots have been growing into it. I cleaned it off. That grave would have originally probably stood up and probably been right behind this one maybe, mm -hmm. my guess. This is like, it's almost like, you know, it, it's almost like a plotter's field, Chris, with these little stones. But even back then, like when most slaves were buried in the plot fields, mm -hmm. they were usually only marked with like a big field stone and not like a carved headstone. You see, that one looks like it's actually got a last name word on it. Maybe. That's got initials. Is it initials too? Yeah, that's the small one right here. This one does too. CC. Right here, I was getting crazy hits on the K2. Are you gonna get some hits? No. Mm -mm. They're just moving around. Yeah. <coughs> where do you want to try? You want to try to? I tell you what, Chris. You want to go over there where the <coughs> grave of that young child is? Try to run a ghost box session right there. If we don't get anything, we'll move up there to the the front part where the, all the headstones are. Yeah. We'll try some quick box session over there and see if we can get a hit on the Did you get the ghost there. box? Huh? Did you get the ghost box? Yeah, I got okay. it. Okay, cool. And we'll do it at 150 on the sweep rate. Sweep in reverse. No FM traffic, you hear that? Mm -hmm. None. Absolutely none. There's not even a radio station in hell no more. Uh -huh. Hello, is How's there anybody? Like is there anybody here that like to communicate with us? My name is Eric, this is Chris, Andrea's here with us, 
Is there anybody here that would like to communicate with us? If you come up and speak loudly, we might be able to hear you. Is Martha here? What? Is Martha here? What? Is Martha here? What? Did you say what? Come speak loudly and we might be able to hear you. Who said what? Can you tell us your name? This is your chance to talk to us. Is that a hello? It sounds like do what? Like... <laughs> Do you not understand us? Can you give us your name? Don't be afraid to come up and say hi to us. We're not here to bother you. We don't mean you any harm or disrespect. I'm not hearing anything else. Don't be afraid to come up and talk to us. Hello. Are you buried out here? Let's move on. Okay, we're going to move on. If you want to follow with us as we move on with your song, you can. All right, back in the cemetery again. Wow. Uh, some of these headstones, Chris, where you see they were came in, they were buried in the 1850s. Yeah, 1830. That's 18, what is that, 1935, born 1877. This one inside here is actually, this one right here is actually a little bit older. So our ride just left us. So we're out here by ourselves. <laughs> Uh, oh wow, the bluffs and sure the yeah. whole bits of hills. You know what, I, I don't know if I got my flashlight out of the truck. Yeah I did, okay, whew, alright. <laughs> so, we found... <clears throat> Last weekend when we were out here, we found we found some graves up in the like in the edge of the woods. Mm -hmm. This uh, there's one over here that's like totally cool. So you know that you know that Fort Fort Curtis. Yeah. A lot of these soldiers actually fought over there. That are these are actually soldiers' graves. You'll notice they'll have the same insignia on them where they served. Arkansas DLT. Arkansas Department of Transportation, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a snuff. Oh.
Look at this. Look at this little bridge stone, Chris. Look at this. What in the world? It's a headstone. It's still uh, April 13th, 1889. Now there's a bunch of uh, insects out here, so yeah. most of the stuff that you'll see fly in front of the screen might just be an insect, so just warning y'all. That ain't a piece of headstone, is it? See it right here? No, that's okay. I don't think so. It's so like this was erected by the Masonic Lodge, right? Mm -hmm. But it gives the guy right there but right here it tells you all his accomplishments that he did he was a delegate to the national convention in 1872 he was a state land commission of arkansas and committee of immigration 1872 wow. uh, adopted appointed commissioner to what is that Represent the state, <clears throat> the state of Arkansas, in the Vienna Exposition of Austria, 1878. So it's got all, it's got all of the, all of his accomplishments that he did, and it says that it was played. This, uh, this was actually placed by the Masonic Lodge, the Grand Masonic Lodge of Arkansas. That's awesome. Look at that. Thank you. Oh, that's another one right there. What does that say? 1937 is when they died. Yarn. Henry White. 1887 to 1957. Oh, wow. Look. Chris, there's even these brush piles. I'm willing to bet there's even grave sites in sea. Like right there. There's a grave site right there inside that brush pile. See it? Yep. Oh wow. Hmm. Looks like another concrete marker sticking up right there. Back here, Chris. <laughs> I see a big spider. Look at that. I wonder what's back there. Oh my gosh, look at the spider. Yeah. Look at the spider, yo. Look at that thing. Man. Wow. Beautiful. Alright, we're gonna leave him alone. He's moving. What the freak is that? Oh, it's like a... Cocoon? Yeah. Oh. I've never seen one before. That's really cool. What, Chris? Dude, watch that spider web. Yeah, you don't want him to crawl on you. I don't know. Yeah. Look at the cocoon. Hmm. There's more grace back there. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But there's, you know, part of the grace point. Kind of like... Yeah. It looks like nothing's been back there in a long time. I wonder what he goes back to. You think it goes back to the caretaker's house? Probably. <laughs> Wouldn't that be so cool? Oh, man. <laughs> no, what, what's left behind? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. 
hello, come up and speak with us. We're not here to bother you. We just want to communicate with you. Who's here with us? <coughs> we brought a we brought a young lady with us this time to talk to you. You want to talk to her? Fucking close. What? Is that? I don't know. Now. You can follow us as we move along and speak with us if you want to. Mm. Is there anything you can tell us? That's a big print. What is that? What? How many spirits are out here with us? broke that tree in half like that. Look at that. What? That's a sapling. Just something uh, broken old. in here. Huh? Probably old. It was probably dying. No, no, it ain't old. That's a young tree. See, that's a Well, it had a hole in it up there. See, I'm not. Probably could have, uh... It's probably disease. Is there anybody here that would like to speak with us? Is that a hit on there? Is there anybody here that would like to communicate with us? Look at all these headstones they found. Mm -hmm. Feel free to come up and talk to us. I think I may have been moving too fast, but I don't know. I wish we had that other one. What? That other K2 meter. Oh, oh. I didn't think to get it. Yeah. Let me see. You want to walk up to me?
Chris, I swear to God, it looked like I just saw a shadow right there. Right there, just on top of the ridge. See that tree stump kind of leaning to the left a little bit, kind of poking up to the left from there to that second big tree. My finger's actually shadowing it right there. It just moved, just moved right across. I mean, just. I'm getting a hit. Are you? Yeah, it went up to 2.5. If you're here, can you come up and touch that black box that Chris is holding in his hand? It won't hurt you. It'll just let us know that you're here. If you walk up to it and get close to it, it'll light up for you. Can you make it light up? It won't hurt you. The light bothering you? My name is Eric, this is Chris, this is Andrea. Andrea's holding a box, and if you come up and say hello, we might can hear you. Can you come tell us hello or tell us your name? Dude, this is so freaking cute. I gotta turn this light back on. I just got the most uneasy feeling. Like, I feel like my freaking, I feel like I'm fixing to have an anxiety attack. Is anybody here that would like to communicate with us? What? Chris, Chris I gotta walk out to the road. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, I don't know what happened. I, uh, <clears throat> I got a panic attack I, yeah I, I don't know why we turn the lights out up here trying to see if we can get the k2 meter to light up again and uh it just honestly it felt like i was literally having my heart snatched out of my chest and i just started feeling like a almost like a panic attack but it's, it's something like I've never, I've actually never experienced. And so, right after I heard, saw what looked like a shadow move off in the distance. Hey, what's up guys? You made it this far into the video. Guess what guys? I want you to be able, I want you to drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think was going on out there in the woods. That place was absolutely insane. It has now been a couple of days since we actually filmed out there. I had a, I had a chance to get home and actually, you know, kind of gather my thoughts on the place. And, you know, I really got my own personal opinions about the place. But I can tell you what I've experienced out there was like nothing I've ever experienced before in my life. That place has haunted me. And it'll probably continue to haunt me for the rest of my life. What I experienced out there was was insane i mean I downright i i don't know any other way to describe it other than i felt like i was having a heart attack it felt like something i'm not going to say what i'm going to say something was reaching in my chest grabbing my heart and trying to rip it out of my chest i it was it was crazy i mean the visualization that i had what i mean it was just insane you know i'll leave it at that be sure to let me know what you thought it was and guys, I want you to stay tuned because we have got a really, really cool place coming up. Chris and I are going to explore this place that is phenomenal. And guys, we're going to go over there. We're going to explore it. And not only that, guys, but we're going to go back and to hell with the 3 a.m. challenge, guys. We're going to do something a little different. We're going to do a full overnight challenge in this place. You're not going to want to miss it. If you like creepy abandoned hospitals, I promise you're going to love this. Guys, be sure to stay tuned for that. If, you, if you're new to this channel and you like this kind of content, be sure, to hit that, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that bell also. That way you know every time we upload content. Also, check us all out on our social media. Me, Chris, we're both on Instagram, Facebook. 
check out the Urban Ghost Hunters Facebook page. Also, be sure to check out the new the new store. We've actually got some new merchandise up there. We've got some new logos out. Special thanks to Scott. And guys, we'll see you on the next adventure. Thanks again. We love you. Peace.